I remember going to the barbershop when I was young. I was always scared. Scared that Danny would slip and cut an ear. Or that he would reach for that leather strap to sharpen his blade and slice my head off. I was six years old. A barber, from the Latin barba, which means beard, is someone whose occupation is to cut any type of hair, give shaves, and trim beards. In previous times, barbers also performed surgery. This is where the barber pole comes in. The origin of the barber pole is associated with the service of bloodletting. During medieval times, barbers also performed surgery on customers. Some of you may not know, but the barber shop is an experience. Okay, maybe a frightening one when we were younger, but an experience nonetheless. I remember walking into a barber shop, hearing the sounds, the smells, the bar, the music. Wait, a bar? Music? Wait, I, I didn't, there was none of that when I was a kid. Wait, fast forward to the present. Ah, that's better. Mister, the barbershop. See, it's not any barbershop. It's an experience. Mr. The Barbershop is located in the Financial District in San Francisco, a prime location filled with men eagerly seeking to get their hairs cut. So I went to Mr. The Barbershop and sat down with Sean and Kumi, the founders of Mr. Here's what they had to say, and let them tell you their story. Uh, so how'd you come up with the name, Mr.? I wish I could say I remember at this point, yeah. I, I, we were kicking around a lot of different ideas. Um, we wanted something that was like authentically masculine and also uniform enough to fit both, again, like Sean was saying, like it wasn't about like specific metrosexuals or like, guy, like just guys, guys, or like uh, Asians or blacks or whites. It was like we wanted a name that fit every man. Considering for the first uh, six weeks of business, we didn't have a sign in front of our yeah. store. Most people were wondering what the uh, what the hell we were. I see um, a lot of people walk by and they look in yeah. and then they read the little exactly. But when people walk in and they're like the first time, wow, wow. It was, it was I mean, I, I think they think it's a um, it's a nice restaurant or it's a nice bar. I mean, because again, what we are is not necessarily intuitive. We're like a fully functioning bar and barber shop that generates, you know you know, equivalent portion of its revenues from both parts of the business. And if anything, our focus is not the bar, but it's actually the barbershop, because that's the nucleus that really creates that sense of community. The, the things that they talk about when they leave aren't just how the place looks, but it's literally the feel of the place and the environment. And that's why, you know, the people that we hire, everything about Mr. is about hospitality. So when you tell people drinking at a barbershop, um, that can't work. Um, and again, I think that we were just, um, we're so, uh, non-intuitive at this point where there's no way that we can actually use words to articulate what you'd experience once you step foot in the store. Um, so most of the pushback or any types of reservations we have from men or women about the space has nothing to do with what Mr. actually is. It's more a function of what they've seen before. So there you have it, the barbershop experience. I enjoyed sitting down with Kumi and Sean, listening to their story of how they came up with the idea. These two obviously respect each other and they've obviously invested a lot of time and energy into creating this new barbershop experience. It shows. Walking around, the place is beautiful. Nice, rich wood and brick. I can say this. The place is cool. I met one of the barbers. His name was Nick. Nick the barber. He's from Philly. He sounds like a hitman. My mind starts to wander. Am I that six-year-old again?